Hi guys, welcome back. And today I'm actually going to show you uh, Mara Pets. Uh, it's pretty much a rip off of the uh, more popular and more familiar game Neopets. So I just wanted to show you that uh, I do have an account here. I had an account that was much older than this. I just couldn't get access to it anymore. So I kind of decided to go ahead and uh, create a new account and start over again. So this is my, uh, this person here is the doll. They call these the dolls. And then down here are actually my pets. So I have 11 of them. I actually ended up getting some of them from the uh, Mara Pets pound and a couple of them I made myself so yep yeah. so here are the pets and what I'm actually going to go ahead and do right now is create a brand new pet so yeah let's go ahead and do that and this will be another companion pet to go along with the 11 that I already have so, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to name this pet, or even what we're going to go ahead and uh, make the pet out to be, but whatever. You get like, what, 2,500 Mara points for making a pet? It says you can create two more pets. Okay, that's cool. So, as you can see, here are the, uh, the pets you can actually make. I honestly don't know much about Mara Pets myself. I just, you know, whatever. I play every so often, but this is not exactly a game that I'm overly fond of, but whatever. I mean, it's all fun stuff, right? It's all fun stuff. We're going to go ahead and make a uh, Lado thingy. So, it looks cute. Create your new pet, Lido, Lido, whatever. So I'm having a look at all the colors and, you know, the red one looks like the most fun. Even though, yeah, uh-huh, whatever. <laughs> I'm actually going to go ahead and actually name this pet after uh, one of my... Uh, one of my Neopets. So I always wanted to try to include, I'm not sure if it makes any difference or not, but the pet will be male. And yeah. So my canine started off as a red Lumaru. So there you go. We have one new alert. So yeah. I can have. I can create officially one more pet. I think, however, I cannot create the pet right away. I think I have to wait. So here is a King Baspinar prize. Mm. Uh, I don't really have much to say about Mara Pets in particular. I do think that it's nice that they reward you for uh, your loyalty. Which is basically what this is. This is to reward you for your loyalty and staying with Mara Pets for this long. King Baspinar has just given you a King Feliz. Uh, okay. That's all very, very awesome. In case you're wondering why some of these videos look a little familiar. Um, on my channel I had actually done some of these before. But I just kind of put the videos away I just I wasn't as sure about them so actually what we're going to do now from here is we're going to go back to the pets section because there's a lot of things that we can do with them at this point why do these gray boxes always show up on my computer I just some it happens on other other things as well so we're gonna go ahead and go down and there's a certain thing that I want to do here 
here it is. Here it is. Operations portal. This is basically their lab ray place. I have never in my life had access to the Neopets lab ray. I never wanted to have it. So we're just going to go ahead and choose a lucky contestant to be experimented on. Uh, we're going to pick uh, Jungo Jaren, whatever his name is, or her name, or whatever. Like I say, uh, yep, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. The only thing I have to say is that uh, it does reset at the beginning of every single day. So, yeah. I'm just going to say that uh, I'm not super impressed with Mara Pets. I just come around and do some of their games here, but I am not impressed overall. It's basically just a ripoff of Neopets. Not that there's anything wrong with that, of course. Uh, yeah. So now we're just going to do a few of the simple free games we can do every single day. Of course, we did not win a prize. Uh, that happens quite a bit. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not a... Uh, the free games is not a bad way to earn items and free money and all this other amazingly good stuff. So, you know, sometimes we win prizes or Mara points and sometimes we don't. Which is MP. Right up there. Dig for Cimmerian artifacts. Cimmerian? Or, like I said, I, I don't know all this Stations. Hmm. All right. Double rare artifact. One hundred duck coin. Cool. Now those I think can be exchanged for other coins or maybe items or something like that. But like I say, it is what it is. Um, if you play Mara Pets and if you need another friend, I mean, you're always welcome to add me. I mean, I only have a couple friends and honestly, I'm not even sure how often they play or, you know, whatever. But yeah, it's all cool. Oh, th this is fun. This is, this is the Balloon Burst game. Simple enough to play. You get to pop up to four of these balloons and hopefully there's something in them. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with my computer today. It's not working. It's 80 Mara points in the prize pot. This is all good. There's 143 in the prize pot. Not bad. Mm -hmm. 12. MP in the prize pot so we can get to burst one more balloon. 212. Hmm. And a long orange balloon item. That's kind of cool. Hmm. I think because I'm recording, that's basically why those little squares are actually appearing. So I really apologize for the appearances of these very annoying little squares. I don't do all the free things. I don't do bingo or duck or dive because I just, I'm not interested in those things. I don't know. So, mm -hmm. take free clothing. This is good because we actually can get, cool, E19, nice. And then after after we've done all these wonderful games and activities, we'll put every everything into the attic, and from there, I don't know. So we're gonna do the Christmas tree. Do whatever you like to the Christmas tree. Oh my God, that that sounds so naughty all of a sudden. 
But I really liked the Christmas tree. And there's things you can do. Shake, kick, burn, hug, and kiss. Or kick the tree. Oh my god. But that, that whole thing just sounds so, so dirty. So, so naughty, so dirty, and all that stuff. But, again, I'm not sure if the players who play uh, Mara Pets would even understand anything like that. I don't know. But then again, who knows? Um, this is supposed to be a lot more of a adulterated version of Neopets, as I've already explained. So, you know, I think it's meant to be a little bit more dark in its humor and stuff like that and the events of this site and all that kind of stuff. But I haven't exactly seen anything that indicates that that's the way it is. I just keep seeing all these cheesy games. 47 RP. That's good. It's another form of currency. I can actually add that to my uh, RP bank account at some point. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll do the fruit machine. Again, a lot of the games here are very indicative of Neopets and the dailies you can do there and things like that. It's clearly a, a big rip-off. Mm -hmm. You have to get three matching fruits in order to win any sort of a prize. Very different from the uh, Neopets version. If you win two fruits in a row on their fruit machine, you at least win a small prize. But if you win three fruits in a row, you win a bigger prize. So th that's a small difference. Not that I would assume there's much of a difference or anything. And uh, I notice here on Mara Pets there are several different versions of Tombola you can play. And on Neopets there's only one Tombola. And if you're interested in seeing, you know... Oh great, the same damn thing again. I clicked it and then it just didn't register or something like that. On a Olymp Olympic point, that's that's awesome. Yeah, so let me know if you'd actually be interested in seeing me uh, doing my actual Neopets account, doing dailies or something like that. Because you know, I I, I want to keep you know the game interesting and all that stuff. Yeah, you know, I definitely want to keep the content of what I'm showing on my channel to be you know. Interesting. We're going to do the Nutty Tree and then after that we're going to go back a little bit and do the Jackpot Pyramid. I love doing the Jackpot Pyramid. You can do that once an hour. Mm. If you had the gift boxes it's saying you can actually do these things even sooner. Ooh, Pine Nuts is now in your inventory. There's the picture of that. That's cool. Pine Nuts is good. It's something you can actually give to your pets to eat. So, yeah. Again, uh, a lot of the features are very much similar, but they, uh, they wear different names and different disguises to try to make them a little different. But with these pet sim, sim games, I'm not sure if there's any real identifiable difference in anything that happens here. So, mm hmm. <clears throat> Oh, level up. Awesome. Let's, let's just see how far up we can go this time. If we're lucky, we can go a little further. Maybe. Nope. Nope. That's where it ends. So much for that. But it's free money, which is good because with another pet, I have to... Uh, have a little extra money to actually put them into the hotel for a couple of days so mm, it's definitely very expensive to actually uh, lodge them into the hotel um, 
with Mara pets versus Neopets. But first of all, the thing is, um, with Mara pets, you can actually have more pets in your account compared with what you actually can get total with Neopets. Neopets, if you have their premium membership, you can have six pets. If you don't have the paid membership, you can only have five. And here, I think you can have up to 13 pets, something like that. I, I don't know if they actually have another deal where if you um, upgrade your account, does that mean anything? You can get more pets or anything like that. I'm not 100% sure myself. So if you have played this game and if you know anything about upgraded accounts and whether it's, you know, actually worth your money to actually in, uh, upgrade, do let me know. I'm not, I'm very curious. There's only a few more activities that I'm actually going to do because I don't, I don't do all of them like I've already explained. Considering the fact that I consider Mara Pets to be a, a complete ripoff from Neopets. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Damn it, I have to do that again. I don't know what is the matter with this thing. Usually it's Okay, 3,062, it's not bad, not bad. Plus I got all these V-stock points I can put away. I don't have any, uh, the BP, which is, <sighs> I think that stands for Baspinar points. RP, however, I know that stands for the, um, un, uh, this is Undying Tumble. I think you can get the, uh, I'm not sure where you get the BP, but the V-stock points you can get for V-stocking. If you buy something in the shop, you, they, always, they also give you V-stock points. So, that's pretty awesome. At least they have several different modes of currency here. So you can purchase things and all that stuff. Uh -huh. There are um, other modes of currency on uh, Neopets, but those are basically items you use to train your pets with. Although with Croc Island, you actually do have to use the balloons instead of the Neo points to buy stuff. So, yeah, it's not quite the same thing as what you're dealing with here, but I think you also train by uh, using actually like a, what was it, crystals? For the gym here on Mara Pets, and then they have an elite gym which requires diamonds. So they do require other things in order to actually train your pets. And there's another alert, which is actually good. 75 BP, you can get that from this Tombola, the regular Tombola, which is pretty awesome. Now, I will check the alert in just one more minute, but I have one more thing to do. Just one. We're going to do worm digging. So these are basically things that I play. Like I say, I wish I was more impressed with Mara Pets than I actually am, but I just find it a, a complete rip-off of Neopets. And it just, it's just not very exciting to me. Although I'm sure that this game would love to be better. It just, oh wow. The Arcade Fairy Prize. This is actually where the game does get a little bit more exciting. Because they have different things that happen and you actually get rewarded and stuff. You have played 120 or more games and the Arcade Fairy has given you 25 27,500 MP, which I think is awesome. Hmm. Okay, I think before we actually wrap up, we'll go back to pets one more time and go ahead and check and see if I can actually, uh, if I can actually create my final pet or not. Uh, Let's see here. Create. Hmm. 
Yeah, I was right. You can only create a pet once every 24 hours. So again, that does make a big difference with uh, Amara pets versus Neopets. There's actually a time limit and how often you can actually create a pet. And to disown a pet, you have to pay out heavy to do that. You can adopt, but it's kind of hard to do that. I don't think you know, pets end up in their pound, orphanage, or whatever very often. There are no pets in the pound for you to adopt. Well, that's kind of a bummer. I could disown a pet, but why would I want to do that? When it's basically, you know, in my best interest, actually. Here's the graveyard. Sometimes you can actually rescue a pet before it actually dies. There are no zombie pets here. They become zombies. So, well, you know. It's an interesting concept, but in the long run... Oh yeah, we're going to put some things into the attic. I guess it will be the final thing I do before I actually wrap up this wonderful, exciting video. So here's all the things that we've actually gotten. So, mm -hmm. I think you can only put them into the, well, I don't know, whatever. We're gonna put the long orange balloon. And like I said, it's even though Mara Pets is focused principally on the pets, there's still a uh, a person character that also is there and is representative of the situation and all that stuff. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, and. Okay, that is that. So we're just we're just gonna go. Um, we're just gonna click out my account, I guess, and uh, you guys can actually see everything. Joined on the twenty fifth of July, two thousand eighteen. My account's almost one year old, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, and here here are my pets. So yeah. Oh, I think these are three are the ones that I actually created, and then all the rest of these guys all came from the pound, and I can actually create one more, so, yay, that's all awesome. So, that's that, and, yeah, everything's cool. Very cool, so... That's what I got to show you. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we hope to bring you something else of uh, more interest in the future. I hope this video wasn't too boring, but unfortunately, that that's basically how it is with Mara Pets, as far as I can tell. Oh well, hey, at least they're trying. Well, all right then. Bye, everybody.